message of uh, my speech is that a uh, perfect warning will be useless if uh, people don't know what to do when a warning appears in the TV, in the radio, uh, through the sirens or whatever. If people doesn't know what to do, then the perfect warning is useless. A warning for any kind of disaster or just tsunami? Any kind of disaster, uh, either for tornadoes, typhoons, hurricanes, hurricanes or tsunamis. Coming back to this region, um, how well do you think Thailand is now prepared um, for tsunamis with it, both its warning systems, its buoys, its towers, the whole system? Do you think it's up to par with, say, Chile or even Japan? I think Japan is probably, is it the most advanced place for, for warning systems? The uh, Japan is definitely the most advanced place for uh, tsunami warning system, and they are always at the uh, edge in terms of technology, by no reasons. Um, what is in the Pacific is a is a history of 45 years development of a tsunami wide basin warning system. And uh, in that sense, several countries, including Chile, but also the U.S. and some Central American countries, have been working towards a tsunami warning regional system. That's different from the what we call the near field tsunami. So those that are less than 100 kilometers or 200 kilometers near the the the, the source. And um, in the case of the Indian Ocean, after the tsunami in 2004, several countries have been working very hard, uh, particularly Thailand. Um, and um, we think that the Indian Ocean tsunami warning system is well defined now, with key roles assigned to some uh, warning centers that, that are starting to operate this year. Um, some of them providing watches, regional watches, in, in, in a few months now, I think. And uh, for Thailand specifically, the National Disaster Warning Center has been working very hard at both the technical tsunami warning system as well as with the community, and this is the main purpose of this meeting. Yeah, the meeting's been uh, with participants from schools. If we bring Dr. Uh, Chertsak in, you used to work with the National Disaster Warning Center. Tell us about some of the participants and what they've been discussing here in, in Phuket particularly. Uh -huh. The participants are from the uh, schools and communities as well as the local administrative or organization. Uh, some of the government uh, officers from the uh, Disaster Prevention and Mitigation Department, uh, Office of Basic Education Commission under the Ministry of Education and the uh, Department of Fisheries dealing with the fishermen who are uh, impacted by the tsunami. Uh, they are coming today to meet at the final meeting of the Adaptive Learning and Disaster for Disaster Management for Community Awareness and Resilience uh, funded by the uh, Belgian government and the cooperation with the UNESCO IOC. Uh, this project has been implemented since uh, 2007 and uh, it's two years project. So it will be, it has already uh, finished the uh, activity since December. So today they are meet, the meeting will uh, uh, bring them uh, to discuss on the outcome of the project what they have uh, learned from the project and the achievement they have and to discuss uh, the way forward, the uh, problems they have and, and so on. And the, the outcome of the project will be uh, sent to the um, government for uh, uh, continuing support because the uh, activity carried out as a pilot project um, uh, from the 24 schools and communities uh, within 514 uh, communities in the risk area. So the pilot uh, area study uh, cover just 5% of the community or um, which need to be uh, uh, expanded. Uh, anyway, uh, the Department of Disaster Prevention and Mitigation also carry out the uh, exercise each year 
and and trying to reach uh, such a big target uh, group of community. Anyway, the in-depth study like this project, uh, we need to be carried out, and the next phase that we try to plan. Uh, to involve um, uh, these 24 pilot community and school as the trainers, training of the trainers, and try to involve them uh, to expand their knowledge to the other communities. So this is uh, one of the first of its kind in trying to integrate not only government among uh, interagency department, but also integrate the uh, community, integrate schools and community to work together. And so this achievement is significant in this way.